me say why today African people uh, are really really confused with this term or this mm-hmm. title. Mm-hmm. It's 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 really because we have lost our spiritual roots. Okay. Uh, and it is at least it is a little bit embarrassing that mm-hmm. Africans today really are not used to what Imboni is. Mm-hmm. Imboni is not a new term. It's not created now. Mm-hmm. Imboni simply means that um, is somebody who sits in a very high uh, hierarchy in the spiritual mm-hmm. terms. So Imboni is a spiritual guider. Oh, okay. Yes, is a spiritual guider. So our uh, mm-hmm. ancient kings. Uh, you go back to your pharaohs. Mm-hmm. They were what you can term your uh, indigenous traditional kings. That's what we call them here, mm-hmm. even pharaohs. But you also had what you'd also term a spiritual king. Mm-hmm. I think it makes okay. sense when you put it that way. Mm-hmm. So the spiritual king, which uh, in many uh, terms was inborn, uh, the one who, who sees things, oh, okay. and who used to guide then the nation, oh. because. What you term Israel Omoya, the spiritual realm, does not speak to ordinary people. Mm-hmm. It speaks to those who are chosen, spiritual, who are born. Mm-hmm. So the spiritual realm, when it has messages, mm-hmm. it will pass those messages to the elected one, the spiritual one. Then they pass it to uh, the nation. Another very, very good example of Imbon, because mm-hmm. we have to explore Imbon. Of course, yes. <clears throat> would be what you term Namtlanje, they call it a prophet. Oh, okay. I was I was mostly called like that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I do allow it a bit today mm-hmm. because of Abandu, they are not enlightened about African indigenous spirituality. Mm-hmm. They are more enlightened about religion. So prophet actually is not an African term. It's a, 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 a Hebrew term mm. for what they in their religion called Judaism. They have people called prophets. Mm-hmm. Prophets name born are not the same but very similar. So because today we know prophets, mm-hmm. you know, I would allow myself to be called a prophet. But Imboni is, is it's in the African terms, not in the Hebrew terms. Mm-hmm. We are Africans, we are not Jews. Mm-hmm. And we follow African indigenous spirituality. We, are, we don't follow Judaism. Okay. So I think uh, in that context, people have some kind of light. So Imboni were people who were there. But because of colonization, it did not only wipe and here comes politics and spirituality, mm-hmm. did not only wipe out our, uh, 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 you know, uh, things that you can term them under politics. Mm-hmm. It, it caused even further damage than what politics today talk about. It, it caused a spiritual onslaught where it removed African people from their spiritual roots and replaced its spiritual roots with religion. That's why in Amtlanje, you see that people about Wazimboni, they are not known. These things are not known. So I hope that okay. clarifies some things. Yes, it so does. So I am then Imboni, mm-hmm. a spiritual guider in short terms. Okay. Yeah. So as you navigate through spirituality, what is the fine line between religion and spirituality? Spirituality is as old as humans. Uh, spirituality was not crafted by humans uh, is what let me say as old as earth is spirituality is as old it's something we were gifted mm-hmm. the other example that can make a person uh, kind of understand is that you are flesh and spirit your flesh is you know it, it depends on the world mm-hmm. then you are spirit you you are spirit Umumoy. so your spirit and your spiritual connection with all spiritual entities mm-hmm. uh, 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 is what we call spirituality. Okay. You know, spirituality meaning that when you are spiritually conscious of your own spirituality and other spirits around you. What is religion? Religion has a birth date, all religions. And, and I sit here again as a scholar of religion. Okay. Yeah, if I'm speaking facts, mm-hmm. not what I think. All, all religions have dates. They have birth dates. They were born. Oh, okay. uh, I'll, I'll, I'll quickly go there. So you have what you call Abrahamic. There are more religions, but let's talk about the popular ones. Mm-hmm. What you call Abrahamic religions. That is Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Mm-hmm. They were all born in one place called Israel. Mm-hmm. And they were all according to religion. They came from, uh, they were born out of a man called Abraham. 
who had two children, Isaac and uh, Isaac. Mm -hmm. Isaac is being said he gave birth to Islam. Mm -hmm. Isaac is being said he gave birth to Judaism. Mm -hmm. Then Christianity was born out of Judaism. That's why they are called all three of them uh, Abrahamic. There are more religions. Mm -hmm. There's Buddhism, etc., etc. But I just gave you now where they were born and mm -hmm. how they were born. Mm -hmm. So they were crafted by humans, Amar religions. That's why you see that let's let's take the most popular Christianity. You know very well if you go to uh, church A and church B, they might quote the same scripture but interpret it in all different ways. Because religion was crafted by uh, 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 humans. And that is why to be actually a religious leader, you have to go to school. Because oh, religion... Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, you have to. Because religion is academia. Mm. Already it's telling you yeah. something there. Anything that's academia, it's of human origin. We put things together and put it in an academic form. So you have to go to school because religion is academia. It has scholars. It was crafted by humans. Spirituality was not crafted uh, uh, by humans. Spirituality mm -hmm. is what we all were born with. Mm -hmm. It's a spiritual thing. It's, it's something that comes from the spiritual dimension mm -hmm. and it comes to you. So you don't learn it anyway. So that's, I can say, that's the difference. Mm -hmm. Religion is man-made. Spirituality is what we're giving. It's not, it's not created by humans. Mm. So the Bible, it's man-made. Yeah. Do you, for those people who believe strongly in, in a Bible, um, in this day and era, there have been a lot of churches that preach about the Word of God, but on the same breath, you find that they are fake uh, prophets, fake pastors, people eating snakes, uh, some being fed uh, petrol and all of that. Is that contained in the Bible? Is that what the Bible, or is is, is, is that what God wants? Or it's something that, like you have said, that is academia. It's something that people have created for their own uh, intentions. <laughs> Spiritual matters, you, you'll have to have many segments <laughs> because it's deep. Okay. <clears throat> and I don't want to go too much deeper because I know that we are within a context and there's time barriers. Of course. Uh, these are very sensitive issues. And mm. personally, I don't like to go deep on the criticism part. Mm -hmm. That's who I am. I focus on what I do. Mm -hmm. But uh, now, let's go back to religion itself. Uh, religion... You have what you call orthodox, what began in Israel, mm. I Christianity. Mm -hmm. Let's only talk Christianity. And uh, it was just a small religion that began there. Mm -hmm. But Christianity became popular through Rome. It is Rome that made Christianity to be so. Mm -hmm. And you will, uh, and then Rome, you had what you call your orthodox religion. And then you, Roman Catholic was, was one of the first that was birthed from Roman Catholic. Mm -hmm. Then you have your Protestants. Then you begin to have your Pentecostals. All of these denominations, mm -hmm. they are coming from your Orthodox. Okay. They are breakaways yeah. where others felt they are no longer following the scripture. Mm -hmm. uh, we are going to go this way. Then you had your Charismatic, which is more popular today. Mm -hmm. Then now you have the eatings of the snakes. I believe the, the, the scholars are still going to tell us now what they term this. It's scholars who term all these things. As I said, is academia. Now, uh, why people are creating things? Because because that's that's how religion allows you to do. And uh, I want to dispel the issue that the Bible is the word of God. There's no such thing. If you say that the Bible is the word of God, or as we term him in our African spirituality, the Creator, others say the Supreme God. It's fine. Others say God. And then I think that we all would have to leave the concept of a creator. Because the Bible itself, how many versions are there? I speak as a scholar. There mm -hmm. are many versions. And many of them would come from the different denominations. They all edit their own ways. Mm -hmm. Bible is not a word of God. There are a lot of contradictions in the Bible. Yes, I agree. So if you say it's the word of God, you are, you are saying that the supreme being is contradictory. It, it's not the word of God. Mm -hmm. I want to... I want to and, and, and I'm speaking here facts, not what to hide the things or what I dreamt. Facts that people must go and make their own researches. 
It's not the word of God. Let's dispel that. So, because it's not the word of God, as I said, it's 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 scriptures that we put together by by scholars, ancient scholars from long ago. You know, so they were put together. This concept that we grew up being told that God spoke to somebody on the mountain, yeah, yeah, yeah. and He wrote. They are talking about the Ten Commandments. Mm-hmm. We're not talking about the entire concept of the Bible. Mm-hmm. And the, the concept that there were prophets who were sitting on the mountain, and and God spoke to them, and they wrote uh, 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 those things. Mm-hmm. Again, it's 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 not true. It's not true. Uh, that's why I'm saying that is contradictory. There are many. Do you know that the Bible you have today, there are many books that were excluded from there. Why were they excluded? Of course, because as I'm saying, who made the religion popular? It's Rome. Go and make a research about the Council of Nicene. That was held in Rome. Again, it becomes similar to politics, mm-hmm. where you talk about um, a, a, a certain decisions that were made, and they divided Africa for themselves. It's the same as religion. So, those scriptures that existed that time, which are more than what is contained in the one book, are more. There were more scriptures. There were mm-hmm. more writers, just like here. Even the ancient people who wrote about their religion. Mm-hmm. So in the Council of Nicene, decisions were made. Which scriptures are going to come into this one book now? That was before the entire Bible was produced. Mm-hmm. The position of Jesus Christ within the Holy Trinity. Mm-hmm. The Trinity itself, etc., etc. As I'm saying, it, 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 we need to explore one thing and take one hour only about that. Yeah. So I'll, I'll just rush through that. So that's how this modern Bible, you know, was then compiled. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 I can say I can say Rome played a very huge uh, role in that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's not a word of God. Mm-hmm. And um, because it's not a word of God, so people will take it and and, 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 and preach the way they want to preach. Do you believe in the Bible? No, I don't believe in the Bible. Uh, I don't believe in the Bible is a word of God, as I explained. Because it's not the word of God, factually speaking. <laughs> it's not the word of God. If you want to tell me that the Bible is a bestseller of all times, you are right. If you tell me that you find courage and, 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 and interest in the Bible, as you do, like in other quotes of anybody else, or other books that you might be reading, mm-hmm. that you might, you might be finding strength in music. So yes, the Bible is an influential book. Mm-hmm. It might contain things that for you, they strengthen you. There's nothing wrong in that. But I don't believe in the Bible as the ultimate word of God. And again, you ask me questions. Why are the funny things happening? If it was a supreme God word of God, why is it failing to fix earth? Why is it failing to fix humanity? If it's the word of God. Remember, word of God. It must fix humanity. You should read it to me and it must fix it. It has to because yes. you are talking about a supreme being. I'm not sure, uh, Imboni Doctor Uzi Lezu Hadem. There was one, I'm not sure if you have seen um, this, you might have come across this. There was one pastor who claimed to uh, have, uh, you know, resur- resurrected someone from death. Uh, there was a man who was put in a coffin and uh, they played him as someone who has died and, you know, uh, was brought back to life. Is it possible that someone can die and wake up? I mean, and come to life once again? Yeah, maybe to answer that, we have to ask ourselves, do miracles exist in religion? Mm. I, I, I think we have to ask ourselves there. Again, what is religion? I've explained. It's mm-hmm. man-made. Uh, and so that's why for me, if we are going to single certain people now who are following charismatic or Pentecostal or whatever new religion is mm. called, I think it's a bit unfair. We have to go back and ask ourselves religion and its existence. Have do miracles exist in religion? Do what we read, did it really happen? Mm. So I lead by spiritual revelations. Mm. But I have opened a research organization. Mm. So so I work with two legs. Mm. I don't want you to say ah, maybe his dream was not proper or his vision. <laughs> so I have a research organization that is able to go and let's research things mm-hmm. factually. Okay. So that if we mm-hmm. speak spiritual things, mm-hmm. they have to be backed up by some kind of researches that kind of says this is true. So where I'm going, I'm going to you to say, 
my research institution, we have done researches. Back to Sudan, back to ancient Egypt, mm -hmm. you would call Kemet, mm -hmm. and all those things. Mm -hmm. And a lot of religious miracles that you read about in religion are very questionable. Mm -hmm. Very questionable. I'm talking about research. Yeah. Things we grew up being told that they happen. But when we do research, we yeah. go back. Uh, research, not bias research. Is the story of Maria in the Bible, <laughs> Adam and Eve. <laughs> yeah. True? Before, okay, before you before before you go there, yeah. let me go back. African indigenous spirituality was not mm -hmm. created by Hadebe, by your ancestor, by my ancestor. It's something that was revealed to humans. It was there from the beginning. Religions have birth dates. Let me talk Christianity. It's mm -hmm. about now, I think it's going more than 2,000 years, Christianity. African indigenous spirituality is very old. Oh. And if you go back to your African indigenous spirituality and things that happened before, mm -hmm. you will find that uh, a lot of religious stories, they were copied from there. Mm -hmm. From true spiritual events that have happened. Mm -hmm. You will find a lot of religion, religious stories. I'm answering your question. Mm -hmm. They were copied from true spiritual events that have happened. I think I've answered you. Now, going back to this subject, uh, if you come to African indigenous spirituality mm -hmm. and you ask yourself, do miracles happen? Because I think your question is, mm -hmm. can a person wake up or miracles happen? Yeah. They do happen. They, 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 uh, in, in African indigenous spirituality, uh, they do happen. For an example, mm -hmm. which that's my line. Okay. That is under what you call his tune. People can tell you from way back, things happen. Okay. Uh, you go which that's not under my line, but is under African indigenous spirituality. Okay. A gift of Ubungu. Mm -hmm. We all know, people will tell you, yes, things happen. So miracles do happen, but in true spirituality. Now, do miracles happen in religion? Uh, let me tell you now, I said before, there's a lot of things that if you research properly, you'll find it. they were concocted. Yeah. They did not really So happen. we've been sold a lie here. The story of Adam and Eve doesn't <laughs> exist. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, 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 that's why I say I'm, 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 consci I'm conscious of too much being a critic of issues because especially Christians, they like to act being persecuted. They just shut off shame. So I, I always avoid to become as if for them not to shut off so that they can listen to things. But we need learn. to fix the country. We need to demystify <laughs> yes. these things. Yeah. Uh, so you know, let, yeah. let's talk creation. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, let, let's talk creation. Let me quickly go to archaeology. Mm -hmm. Let's talk facts, not what Khatebe says. Mm -hmm. Archaeology. What does archaeology, as we stand now, mm -hmm. most of them agree on? Let's not talk about professionals who've been paid money to lie. Sure. Let's talk about most what they agree on. Most kind of says Africa is a mother continent, right? Mm -hmm. That's why we say Africa is a mother continent. Mm. It's not just a name. Mother gives birth, meaning humans begin here. Why do archaeologists most kind of have this? Because they say when we dig, the ground and the bones and the soil tell us that humans began in Africa. It, that's why they say it's Mother Earth, because mm. it shows human existence began here. Okay. Now, Adam no Eve, the, the, Amagama, there is not Africans, these people. It's Adam and Eve. They're mm. not Africans. So, originally, uh, they are not from Africa, they are from Israel. Now, if archaeology and facts point us to Africa being the oldest continent, how are humans born out of a couple who, if we look, they are from Israel? Again, yes, again, it, it, it tells you, because remember, as we scramble today, you are politicians, you are scrambling for power. As we scramble for everything else on earth, it's not the first time we are scrambling for power. Humans on earth have always scrambled for power. So people used, they crafted religions as also another source of power to say, God is with us, not with anyone else, so that they could conquer. And, and that's why it amazes me today. Mm -hmm. How do you come mm -hmm. from Africa, where humans come from, where supposedly God created it first, mm -hmm. and supposedly spirituality should be strong there? Mm. But you go to Israel, 
as your holy capital and Israel is as a country is a is a child to Africa. Mm. Africa gave birth to all continents. How do you go there and claim that God is there? But you leave the mother continent. Well, what God creates this continent first? After that he goes and resides in a in a child continent. So the story of Adam and Eve is there's no such thing. If you go to African uh, cosmology and because I specialize in spirituality, there are those who are going to specialize in cosmology and all those things mm -hmm. and research. You will find that even that story was stolen from our African stories. Where we are told that the first human was Umlenze Munye, mm. who gave birth to Masond. And the wife was uh, they are the first humans to arrive mm. and they gave birth. Which one makes sense? Adam and Eve? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 Hebrew, one. <laughs> uh, Hebrew origins? Yeah. Where you are talking about African ancestors. Which one? Because if we both say. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to come to that point. Yeah. Because when you talk religion, uh, it mostly clashes with African indigenous uh, spirituality. Uh, more often than not, uh, Christians would not want to... In fact, they would disown uh, ancestors. They would label them foreign gods and all of that. Do you believe in the no notion that if your parents pass away, mm -hmm. they become... Uh, a foreign god or they become ancestors because in african belief I, I would like to understand that i would like to believe that when someone dies they become an ancestor that's why people always go and you know perform rituals and all of that now these two religion christian christianity i'll talk about christianity for now yes they do not appreciate or do not embrace mm. ancestors they call them foreign gods would you say the same thing? Yeah, uh, I'll have to explain it a little bit more. Okay. But let me start off by saying it becomes very strange because Abraham is no longer alive. But suddenly he is a, he's from God. So all these Jewish ancestors are people of God. But my grandfather and grandmother and your grandfather and grandmother, mm -hmm. who is not recognized, are suddenly their demons. Because nowhere do they say... Uh, some of our ancestors. They say our ancestors are demons. But the Jewish ancestors are there. Again, let's go to politics. Do you see something there? Don't you see a nation that's trying to raise itself above other nations? Mm. Let me talk experience. <clears throat> Let me talk experience. Some of mm. your, your viewers might go in the comment section and say, but he was involved in Christianity. Mm -hmm. So I'll talk experience very quickly. <clears throat> I'm born uh, in a Christian family. <clears throat> okay. Because I'm born out of a mother and a father, and uh, we are born in a city. So I don't know my extended families. My father passed away when I was young. So uh, my mother uh, raised us. So I'm not much familiar with uh, the gifts and what's happening in my extended families. Because I'm just in the city by two parents. But at the age of uh, around about five or six, I start seeing visions at school. While the teacher is busy on the board, you understand? I'm seeing issues now. And then it went, it went until my mouth was shut. I could not speak anymore. So I was just dismissed uh, to go and see a doctor. So I saw a psychologist who was a white woman. Mm -hmm. So I always sit there and she's speaking and bubbling and bubbling. So something is talking to me and I'm seeing her issues as well. Uh, but I listen. So Mas Puma, you know, I, there was nothing that happened to me. So I, I'll, I'm cutting it short okay. for your viewers. Mm -hmm. Until such a time that there was a woman, old woman uh, at my street. You know, Laba Mama. People buy a basola because they are always in their house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She comes at my home uh, uh, <clears throat> at my gate, mm -hmm. and my mother is surprised because Ukoko never goes to nobody. But my mother opens the door, then she enters and tells my mother, No, Lomfana is not sick because mm -hmm. Bengbona is bani. In spiritual, we say is bani, what you call a candle. Mm -hmm. They used to be on the floor. So she places a, a camphor cream. There was that camphor ice one, looks like an ice block. On my head, she lights a white candle. She prays over me. She says, Nolufana is a gift. Mm. And she's going to ask that uh, this gift uh, steps aside in, uh, a little bit. So that's uh, the short and the end of it. And then I was able to grow up a bit. But uh, lately we discovered that there was another woman who started to assist me when I was four months old. That I did not know. 
-hmm. she's recorded she's on record she says that her husband was the was the friend of my father so i was crying at the age of four day and night hospital until my father asked the friend and the friend spoke to the wife and the wife has a gift yokusebenza abantwana mm -hmm. she assisted me ngokomoyi so no umntwana no moyi wa uhlisa at four months mm -hmm. but at five months at five years to six years i remember it mm -hmm. but all these things are happening i have visions i see things and etc etc i'm in a christian house i don't know nothing about african indigenous spirituality i did not mm -hmm. go actually to what you call a, a aic's african initiated churches the ones that mix religion and African spirituality. Mm -hmm. I did not even go there. I went to what you call WIC, Western Initiated Churches. Those are your traditional churches. Mm -hmm. So I knew nothing about these things of African, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so to cut a long story short then, yeah, of course I grew up and et cetera. So I come from the environment of a, a, a Christianity. All right. Yeah, I understand what Christianity is besides studying it. Mm -hmm. uh, so I experienced... African indigenous spirituality, I experienced, but I was taught Christianity. Mm. And that's okay. what many people are. Spirituality, I experienced, nobody taught me. But religion, I was taught, of course. And that's why, by the way, you can never know religion if you are not taught. But, but spirituality, even before you are taught, you will know it. Because it's, it's revealed to you. Mm -hmm. Religion is not revealed. Mm -hmm. But religion is taught to you. There's what we call in spirituality the difference between knowing and believing. Now you ask me about the belief. Religious people must believe because belief is of the mind. But knowing, in spirituality we don't believe. I'm, I don't, I'm, I'm not a believer. I don't believe in what I know. I just told you now, when I was young, I experienced things. Yes, yes. You see, so I don't believe. I know. So in spirituality, we don't use the concept of belief. We use the concept of knowing. Mm -hmm. Because spirit cannot believe. And you cannot convince the spirit. You cannot convert the spirit. But you can convince the mind. That's why belief systems of people change. Mm -hmm. Like yourselves, politicians. Yes. Politics is an ideology. Mm -hmm. Politics is not spiritual. Mm -hmm. So as long as you are sold by this ideology politically, you are this. Tomorrow when you change, you are wearing something else. Religion today, you are this. You go to that church, you go. Sometimes others, you know, was a Christian, tomorrow is a Muslim. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Because it's something of the mind. But the spirit never does changes. not believe. It never changes. Spirit knows. That is why most of mm. my followers, they don't come to me only by word of mouth. Of course, some do. Or TV or whatever. They dream. So, they don't come to me because they've been convinced by somebody. Mm. But their own ancestors appear in the dreams. And they say to him, we have to go mm. You can go and prove it, you see. So, when they come to me, they come knowing me even before they met me. Mm. They don't come to me convinced. They come to me knowing then I must mm -hmm. come to him. We jump from me, see a losing. You can never teach a person to be Sangon. Oh, it's a spiritual thing. Yes. When a person go to Tuasa, they are not going there to really be taught. They are going to be trained and guided. They are just being guided. That is why you cannot be Isangoma if you don't have a loss. I'm not talking about those who are buying it today. Those are <laughs> you can never be a sangoma. It's <laughs> it's you can never be sangoma yeah. if I'm not lose. Mm -hmm. You have to have it lose, meaning you, you go no heavy. Even Ukobela, the trainer, you, you don't wake up and choose. Mm. Or what you see in Jopek, it takes in somebody says, hey, <laughs> uh, whatever, uh, you must come to me. No, no, that's you don't go. Some, no, you have to, your ancestor mm -hmm. must come to you and show you who to go to, to mm. train you, not to make you Isangu. No, no one can make you Isangu. Mm -hmm. They are there to guide you and train you. But you go with the gift in it looks. <clears throat> yeah, but now there's no belief yeah. there. That's yeah. why Isangu men will never hear the language that says, I'm a caller or believer. Because this thing, you, it's not about you 
believing it or not is not the brain. It's something spiritual. Like I'm a spiritual guider. People don't come to me for mm -hmm. me to give them laws or to make them something. They come yeah. to me for spiritual guidance. I mm -hmm. guide people. So, Imbon, help me understand here. I want to understand the authenticity of dreams. Yeah. Right? Let's say I dream now and uh, I dream about having hit the jackpot, mm. uh, being a billionaire and all of that. How valid is that? And um, how can I translate that into practice? Yeah, okay, Lapo, we first also have to understand again spirituality. Mm -hmm. Why do you dream? Okay, there's the first dream what we call is just your mind. We no at night you dream of You know, that's just your mind okay. taking photos of the day. Mm -hmm. We call it a normal dream. Okay. There's no explanation. Mm -hmm. Then we have what we call a spiritual dream. That is when there is interaction of spiritual entities interacting with you. Mm -hmm. Why at night mostly? It does happen during the day, but we call it a vision. It happens at night mostly because your, your, your brain is still active, but it's resting a bit. Because during the day, you are taking photos. At night, you are resting. So your brain is still functioning, but it's resting. Uh, 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 that's why the spiritual activities are more at night. So these messages now are now coming to you spiritual entities but in african indigenous spirituality unlike religion we are clear there are two things there's good and bad mm. remember that a religion it's man-made all here it's good all the bad is from satan oh. we are born as human again all good is from here in african spirituality it's reality it's not crafted there's good and bad as we sit here in this room there might be bad people here mm. and there might be good people here now let's go a closing or abanda batana. A closing. Am I losing again? And not now this supernatural. Am I losing humans who have gone to the spiritual dimension? Okay. Yeah. And as they went, they were either good people or bad people. When they reappear to you, they are going to appear in the form that they are good people or bad people. <clears throat> in the spiritual language, you have to say, you have to be a spiritual person and be properly guided for you to be able to distinguish between the two. Mm -hmm. And that's where spiritual guidance comes in. Mm. Right? In your politics, there's political leader who must lead. In government, there's government to lead the country. In spirituality, it's not a mess. There has to be those who are gifted to lead people in spirituality. These are the people we have to consult who are authentic, who then guides us. And I've dreamt one, two, three. Yes. Spiritual person must be able to distinguish. Ah, he Yabon, let me tell you now serious issues. Kunabandu go by your twasa, which they are not supposed to. Kandi lozeli ibi. Ilifununge na gulumundu. Lim Luli say, Li figure as if Unin to us, ne gift can have a gift. And once that person undergoes that process, it's like who invite Iloseli Ben Pilunyak. You see, that's where now you find certain people, a Twasile, go to a H. No man, something's wrong. Twasil Loseli. Uko Bella failed to distinguish, to say, ah ah, ah ah, Lena is his release. A social anti ham. Yabo. Or, we find the genuine sangon. Okay. What your target? Yabon? Yeah, so patumu to move. Yabon? Yabula. I get you are dealing also with social issues. Yes. In Laba now, you watch on TV or whatever. Inka Habi says, No, I'm losing Lam. Yeah, sangon means Yeah, and actually, it's not cleansing. Cleansing has nothing to do with that. Less sangon, sangon is patumu to move. Sit on target. Because mutu wa kwa kumela ngubula. Akmela against crime. You see, but how how does this sangoma genuine sang twasi? Then where does all this come from? It was like Lomunto Lagui was a bad spirit. It's appeal. It's very complicated. It is. It is, yeah, it's very and it needs deep spiritual, be not liars. So it was like wrong. 
That's why it was like Maggie Twasil, Limupa, Amanda, because Umuti is like, mm. stay in the field. But you will not know Gumupu Mutu right nor wrong. But it was like will show you with the Lona or Pilis. Gunezangoma mm. who don't know Mutu Bulala. Sango may have to write your pilis, but so that's a genuine one. It was like, oh, right. it was like, yeah, the right. Lobula lie. It's not right. And a suga lie, you can do muti, I land a lee. And really, the muta figure bulal. Who showed him? It was like. So it was, it's a human. But how now do I distinguish the dreams? That's why you need to be spiritually guided. Because if you are not spiritually guided, and and I'll tell you, do your research. The way people were arrested, and when they stood before the judge, they said it was lamlati, and then people laugh. And sometimes it's true, because And then the religious people take advantage and says, "Yeah, boy, listen to this. It's complicated. Come this side." For me, there's no point in doing indoor and Yeah. Let's stick to the correct one. But let's find ways with the correct one. How do we go about it in the correct one? Now it goes back to what you call Abanda Batozimbo, spiritual guiders. Mm. You see That's me now? you come in. Yeah, I guide Dabu Moe. <clears throat> it's true. I guide Dabu Rules. Panzuwa no go bela batuasa when I was, before I was even born. It's because of the gift that I possess mm -hmm. of spiritually guiding and enlightening a band. Because of if we don't want to have these people on top, everybody today wants to do whatever they want to do. That's where the confusion comes. Mm -hmm. And it drags the name of African indigenous spirituality down. Mm. Right? Now, when we look at the concept of uh, <coughs> colonialism, right, uh, do you believe that the religion was introduced just so that uh, the minds of African people can be hypnotized and as an Imboni, how are you trying to sort of uh, restore the African dignity African values yeah again <clears throat> question that will want us to go to the history of religion to give it fair but because of time uh, again, why was religion? Why were religions formed? If 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 you you go back and look at it, so <clears throat> Christianity is formed in Israel by few mm -hmm. people, no popularity. Mm -hmm. After that, it, it 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 then goes to Rome through Constantine. That's where it's elevated. Now, <clears throat> you, you, Constantine converts to Christianity, mm -hmm. and when we go in history and really look at why did he convert? He lies. I was riding a horse. Mm -hmm. I saw Jesus talking to me. No. Because he saw some people who believed in this. And he saw it. This is a weapon. Mm -hmm. Let me not ex dispel it. Let me take it and use it. Mm -hmm. And that is why if you look you look at your old movies um, or your history about the, <clears throat> these English people, what they call their Red Cross, mm -hmm. the Knights. Yes. Whenever they conquer, they place the cross. Mm. Because Constantine, after his claims to have a revelation of Jesus, he then says now, Jesus spoke to him, he starts conquering nations in the name of a religion. So here in South Africa, in Cape Town, which I urge your followers, listeners, to go and look at those histories, Cape of Good Hope, what happened when Jan van Riepik came. You people talk in the political context, but in the spiritual context, he carried a Dutch Bible. He taught <clears throat> our ancestors Dutch, not as an extra language, just and remember, Jan van Riepik was not a religious person. But why did he find it important to these people must learn what is here in this book? Mm -hmm. Because there are verses in the Old Testament that says, "Slave, obey your master." Portrait of Jesus that way done was a white man with long hair. They will look at me now and say, "Yeah, but that's just a portrait." No, but then who was Jesus? What was his nationality? He was a Jew. In the beginning, we spoke of Adam and Eve. Mm. Nationality of Jesus was a Jew. So, if it says, slave, obey your master. Mm. And when I read and I see this man is a Jew, clearly he's white. And who's standing before me? He's white. So, who, who is God saying I must obey? Mm. 
God say I must obey this white person because he's a descendant of such greatness <clears throat> of God. So you go to um, what's this place? C- Cape of Good Hope. You find the crosses of uh, Bartimaeus. Mm-hmm. We know our history. When he arrived here, he placed the cross. Mm-hmm. It all emerges from Constantine who conquered the true religion. Mm-hmm. So when religion came, mm-hmm. it, it, it was a conquering weapon. It's a fact. That's why we don't have land today. Yes, it was a con- religion. <laughs> Listen, it's not hard. People must just be sober-minded and do their research. It was a conquering thing. And remember, our first ancestors, they were not converted. They were not preached to. They were not sang to. They were forced into the religion. Go to Cape of, uh, no, 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 a town, Cape of Good Hope, I think. Go there into the museum. Get a good uh, tour guide. Tell him, look, don't hide things for tourism. Tell me the truth. They'll put you inside the dungeons there where you can't even see your teeth. And you ask them why. They'll tell you, Anfan Ripi, put our ancestors there because they did not want to convert. They did, be, did not want to convert. Why was religion so important? Why did missionaries convert uh, Amakos 8? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, because they wanted to introduce God to us. But before they arrived here, we hear of our ancestors by Kibelindaba asking for rain when there was no rain. And rain came. Africa is rich in spirituality. Then why was it important mm. for missionaries to convert Amakos 8? And why did they start Amakos 8? By the way, that's how they lost power. They so, lost power because of that. Yeah. Why were they convert? Why did they? Because that time they knew if we convert them, they convert yeah. the nation. Why did they convert them in the era of colonization? Yeah. Why? Why missionaries were working with the colonizers? Mm-hmm. Ask yourself. Isn't it, isn't it a coincidence? Why did they not arrive way before or way after? Mm-hmm. Because the mission was: if we convert people through religion. We will soften them. And here's the thing. Let's remove them from this spirituality. Because let me tell you the truth. The power of African people is not politics. It's not education. It's their spirituality. When an African person is practicing their authentic spirituality, connecting to their true authentic spiritual beings, Mm -hmm. black people are powerful. And if you want to ask yourself, how is it that up to today we are the majority? But it's Rupera everywhere. You run here to America and say, why things are bad. Black Americans are killed. Have you ever noticed that Umdom Yama looks like a cursed person on earth? Yes. What's the barrier? That's why the EFF um, once said, black lives matter. Mm. You see? Uh, but you, you see, we, we, we are missing the foundation of things. Mm-hmm. I think that's the, 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 the crux of it. And that's, that's the core message I am conscientizing people with. Mm-hmm. That go back to your authentic spiritual roots. That's where your answer is. Mm. 